Hi, oh, g'day. Welcome to Farming Live Australia. A higher power than me has decided that today is the designated shed day. In other words, it's raining. For a long time I've wanted a small trailer for our four-wheeler and keeping true to my do-it-yourself and do-it-out-of-junk principles. I'm going today to build a trailer out of an old bicycle for the wheels and an IBC tote for the body of the trailer. Hang around and see how we go. Here I've got an old push bike that I picked up at a sale really cheap. I think I bought three of them for five dollars. So it's not a real big cost to take the wheels off and use them for the trailer. The first thing I've done is to take the wheels off and inspected them to make sure there's no faults and they seem fine. They pump up. Here's another one. No broken spokes. The other thing I've done is measured the tote to see what size I need to make the base for the trailer. And the tote measures one metre wide by 1.2 metres long. I'll go ahead now and make a frame that size that's nice and square and level to eventually put our tote onto. I've got here a bit of an old frame of a project I was building years ago. Some circumstances changed and I didn't need it anymore. And the size that I need for the base of the trailer is 1 metre by 1.2 metres. And this measures 1.250, but it just means that a little bit would hang over. It would be still fine, and a metre comes to there. So this is more than big enough to make it out of, and that's what I'm going to do. This material is ideal for this. It needs to be lightweight, and it measures 50 millimetres by 50 millimetres with a wall thickness of 1.5 millimetres. So it's fairly light tube, but nice and strong. There's a few pieces left on the frame from the old project, and I'll just clean them up before I get on with finishing off the frame. I've got the basic frame assembled now and I've cut the corners off at 45 degrees just to make it a little bit more friendly if you run into the corner. I'm now going to go ahead and weld up everything to that stage. Here I've got a piece of material 1300 millimetres long, the same as the rest of the trailer frame and I'm going to weld it on for a towing point on the trailer. So I've clamped it up there, I've marked the middle where the middle goes and I'm going to tack it on now and then fully weld it. <coughs> I'll fully weld this now. When I turn the trailer over, I will weld onto this side and up here and up here as well. I'll just talk about the wheels for a minute. This is the back wheel off the bicycle and that was what I was going to use. But when I measured it up, this wheel is actually 165 millimetres wide here. And the front wheel is 100 millimetres wide here. Luckily I had another bike front wheel the same size in my future projects resource centre. So I'm going to use that wheel. The only difference is the other wheel has a quick release axle and this one's just nuts, but I'd actually rather that. Here I've got a bit of different box and I'm really breaking my own rules here because it's not, it's not old junk, it's something, it's actually new material that I had left over. But I just don't have anything in my junk pile that really does this job very well. It's 50 by 25 and it's again 1.5 mil thick. And I'm going to cut this one and make another thing like this. And that's going to help to hold the wheels in place on the trailer.
I'm just putting the corners in. They're on a 45 degree angle like the main trailer frame, just to make them a little bit more friendly. So what I've done is I've clamped this piece of 50 by 50 in the corner to make sure it stays square till after it's welded. And once I'm finished welding it up, I'll give it a clean up with the grinder before I put it on the trailer. That looks better. So the wheel's going to go down in between here, like that and the mounting brackets will get welded up here. Being a bicycle wheel, it needs something on the outside as well as the inside to support the wheel. It has not have, have a stub axle like a normal trailer. I've got the one wheel on now. Probably got a bit more idea how it all works now. Wheel's running nice and true. I think it's gonna be good. Here I'm gonna make the next two tabs to hold the wheel on the other side. So what I'm gonna do now is cut these off here and here. First with the bandsaw, I'm now going to cut out where those two lines are. That will allow the bicycle wheel to fit. This is what the brackets to hold the wheels look like once I've finished them. Pretty much like the fitting on a bicycle fork. Last time I welded this onto here, once I'd welded the whole shooting match onto the trailer, but I'm going to weld this one on here. This time, before I weld this piece to the trailer, I just think it might make it a bit easier. Cleaning in a little bit. Oh. Pretty good now. I've gone about this side a little bit differently. I welded this bracket on over on the bench, then I put the wheel in and tightened it up, put the other bracket on just sitting there not welded, made sure the wheel was straight and now I'm going to tack that bracket on, take the wheel off and fully weld it. You can see that the wheel is running nice straight, pretty much in the centre of the gap, so we'll tack it up there. I'll now take the wheel off and I can fully weld it up now. Pat's painting up all the welds. We'll paint all the welds first with rust preventative paint. It's a type of zinc. And then we'll paint the whole thing later when the new steel's oxidised off a bit. It fits really good on the trailer. There's no problems with that whatsoever. I don't want to hook it on permanently because in a few years' time, if it rusts out or whatever, I want to be able to replace the IBC tote. I'll just give you a quick look at how it looks, how it fits. So as you can see, it all fits good. I'm just going to cob and cow it on in a few spots. And then if I've got to replace the tote, it's just a matter of cutting the wires and putting a new one on and rewiring it on. Pat's just putting the protective corners back in. Okay, we've got all the corners in. We're now going to put the plastic liner in. Beautiful. No problem.
Pat's just wiping the hot plastic with a wet rag to set the plastic. Okay, that'll do. That's got it down. When you lean over the side, it won't cut you on the bits of pipe this way. Here I'm putting in some self-tapping screws, which I put all the way around to make sure that the flap stays down. She's all complete now, and we're going to go on the test run, me and Hector. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.